I just like the sound. Hey yo, what's good on my welcome back to the channel. First things first, I do want to apologize if the sound quality of this video is really bad. The battery on my mic died and I thought I had a backup battery, but I ended up throwing that away. And it is pretty late for me to be recording right now because I do have to upload this video. We'll have to edit it and then upload it, so I am kind of running back on time. Unfortunately for this video, the quality is not going to be too good as far as sound goes, but we're still going to make it work. So let me start off on a little story about this sneaker. This sneaker was announced, I think, back in November or December. At latest was January. And it is a Bread Toe Ones if you guys don't know what I'm talking about. And I think last month I made a video talking about the resale on it, the info and all that. And I said that the resale was going to be low. I said that there wasn't going to be really many people picking them up because it is not an OG sneaker. However, I was completely wrong about this. And I ended up following my word on what I said the last video, and that was that I was not going to pick up this sneaker. I was probably, but I ended up not buying it because I didn't even think we are going to get it up here. So I was like, you know what? I'm not even going to try. There's going to be no resale. So there's no point on me even wasting my time on trying to get the sneaker. But in the end, this sneaker ended up selling out everywhere. You can't find them anywhere in Tallahassee. And Tallahassee is not a big sneaker town. It's like a bunch of college kids that don't really care about sneakers, to be honest. It's not like a really popular town like Miami. Los Angeles, New York, or any other big city. Unfortunately, I struck out. However, this is one big thing that I didn't know about the sneaker, which is why I'm pretty much making this video. So I actually ended up buying the sneaker in a grade school size because the quality on the grade school size was pretty dope actually compared to, I can't even say compared to the actual adult size because I don't have that one. But just seeing the quality of the grade school size made me realize that, damn, I really struck out and I messed up. So here's a pair of sneakers that I bought from Foot Action. It is a size seven. I got the biggest size possible. Just, I don't know why, I didn't want to get a smaller size. It would just look weird for the video or whatever. And I took a look at them in the store. Like, I was in the store buying a pair of shorts. It was actually like these Miami looking shorts that I'm wearing right now, which you guys can't really see. But then somebody told me to ask, like, do you guys have any bread toe ones? And they're like, yeah, we have grade school sizes. I was like, all right, let me check them out. Like, let me see what the hype was. Why are they resigned for so high? So I went over to the table and I saw the grade school size and I saw the leather on them. And I'm gonna show you guys right now exactly what I'm talking about. This right here is a grade school size. This could probably fit me if I really try to fit into it, but it would make my foot look really small. And that's the one reason I don't wear grade school sizes because they make your feet like girl feet and I'm not trying to look like that so if you guys look in a detail here you guys can see the crackling leather right there that is like that pigskin really smooth leather apparently it's like the shattered backboard leather but not as good of a quality so it's like the reverse shattered backboard because the reverse shattered backboard is not as good quality as the regular shattered backboard so we do have that leather right here and it does look really nice here and then you have it on this little I guess I like to call this like the wing since there are wings right there and it is a kind of like a wing right here because if you look at like the off-white ones it does kind of flap out that leather is similar to this one but this one is better quality and then you do have the same material on the toe but it is not as soft as this one this is like the, probably the best part of the leather and then the toe is not as good and then this one's like the worst out of that type of leather which is the pigskin leather that's just a great school size i can't really speak for all adult sizes and that pretty much brings me to my point that i regret not buying this sneaker because i didn't know the quality would be like this i thought the quality would be like the bread toe or not the bread toe the black toe ones those were just trash i honestly don't even want that sneaker anymore i kind of want to get rid of it but the only reason i'm keeping it is because because it does have history behind it. And now looking at this one, I'm not gonna lie, the red toe does make it look a lot better than the white toes. And I don't even know why they call it the black toes if it is a white toe. And the quality on the grade school just like, it, it impresses me so much. Like it kind of pisses me off that I didn't get the adult size. I literally could have got it because I always get these sneakers through the apps, at least one pair. So I'm pretty sure I could have got my size in these. I would have loved to got those and most likely probably thrown out the black toe ones because the quality of those are just trash. They are not as nice, they don't look like this. And if you had the same mentality as me like a month ago, you guys probably are regretting it too because you guys thought these would sit, you guys thought these wouldn't sell out. And now they're going for literally double their price on stock X and gold. They're going for 320. So you literally could have made 100% profit on this sneaker. I'm pretty sure the grade school sizes are not reselling, that's why they're still sitting in stores. So I wouldn't recommend you guys to go to the store and try to resell these because it's just not gonna happen. If you don't have adult size at this point, it's pretty much over. One last thing I wanna say about this sneaker before I close out the video is that I feel like this sneaker, if it would have been made like this back when Jordan was playing, he would have wore it in his time and his prime time you know what i'm saying would have been way better than the black toe i personally think it looks a lot nicer so now i want you guys to go in the comments down below and comment which one do you guys prefer the black toe ones or the bread toe ones as far as the latest release goes because obviously the black toe ones do go back a while these it's their first release what i'm waiting for is the chicago ones because those are just all white black and red but you have more red than anything and it is a sneaker that has not been retro in a while and i'm waiting for that one to come out hopefully sometime this year if not next year and apparently there's a rumor that another big 
Jordan's dropping next year, and that is the Bread Fours. I don't know if I'm going for those or not. I'm just letting you guys know some news that I heard today through sneaker news, I think. So shout out to them. For today's fan of the day, I want to give a shout out to the Hoppo Show. Thank you for being subscribed and having your notifications on. If you're new to the channel and want to be a fan of the day, all you gotta do is subscribe to this video, turn your notifications on, and be one of the first people to comment on my latest video. And if you guys look at my latest video, he is the second person to comment. The first person was Christian Kuke, but he was already fan of the day sometime this month, and I like to give everybody a fair chance and not just repeat them all the time. So I try to make it as fair as possible for everybody. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to smash that thumbs up button. Also, don't forget to subscribe. I want to give a huge thank you to everybody that's subscribed to me right now because you guys are almost catching up with my other channel, which has 24,615 subscribers. This one has 24,029, which it's pretty close. It's already finally reaching up. And if you guys have been with me before in 2017 and 2016, you guys know that I had a channel. And unfortunately, that got shut down when I was around 23.5K subscribers. And I'm finally fortunate enough to pass that number that I was left off at before. So this is actually going to push me to put better content out for you guys now because I finally reached the point where I was before and I'm clean like I have no strikes like I did before last time I had two strikes and I was on the edge of getting my channel shut down and in the end it did so I had to start all over but now I'm clean hopefully I'm good now my goal is to hit 25k by the end of March and then from there I already know I'm going to be posting a lot of videos a lot of dope content I'm going to be making stuff for you guys I'm going to be making those masks I want to get to the point where I start selling merch as well but that will be later on along the line because right now if you guys have heard from a lot of youtubers YouTube is really down right now it's really dead they've been putting so many restrictions on all the youtubers and it just it's making it really hard but for me it's making me push harder towards my goal and that goes back to all you guys that are subscribed thank you guys so much seeing that number is i know it's something so simple it's like only a number but it honestly does mean a lot to me and it motivates me so thank you guys so much anyways guys that's it for today make sure you guys keep grinding it's your boy sneaker sign now